Hello everyone, today I'm going to build a nebulizer enclosure for my sick cat because you know you can't put a nebulizer mask on a cat and I have to get him some inhaled medicine somehow and this seems to be the only solution. So I'm going to use this box that I prepared for the filament dehumidifier enclosure some time ago. It's basically ancient history at this point if, as you all know but I don't know, maybe I'll return to that project at some time. And I have my nebulizer here. The thing with this nebulizer is the the part where you put the medicine. It's not on the unit, but this is supposed to attach to the mask. And you just have to hold it upright. And the mask is supposed to be here. And hold it like that. But this thing does make a lot of noise and it does scare my cat. So I can't put this in the enclosure. So. I'm going to have to grab the air coming out of here somehow and I have to make this with the parts that I have at home at the moment so I'm not going to be able to go off and buy some parts and I couldn't find a hose or anything so I'm going to use some heat shrink for that I know basically that's all I can do and this is the tubing that goes through from the nebulizer to the part of it basically so without further delay let's get working on it the first thing to do would be to find a way of uh, basically find a fitting that can this thing can go around and attach the medicine part of the nebulizer somewhere on this box probably by using a screw or something anyway I'll try to figure something out and I'll come back to you Okay, slight change of plan. I've noticed that this thing uh, fits through here, so all I have to do in theory is just to drill a hole here, put, it, put this thing through, and I don't know, maybe use some duct tape or something to seal it. And yeah, that basically seems to be the solution. And I'd also obviously have to secure this white cap part of this here so okay it's update time I couldn't find the right size of this so I couldn't drill a hole so yeah as you can see I just use a tremble pretty carelessly but honestly it doesn't really matter so that's why I didn't pay too much attention and now this fits through just fine and I've also cut a slit here and the purpose of that is to, as you can see, just let this part of it slide in there. So when I put this here, it basically locks itself in. So that's actually basically all I have to do. Now I'll just have to duct tape some of this and remove the plastic waste. I have now attached some duct tape and sealed it off to be the best I can and honestly it doesn't matter too much and now it is time for me to mix the kitty's box so I'll do that and then we will give this a go. all done. So I'll put this on, get the kitty in here and we will give it a test. Okay the cat's in there so let's not let it suffocate and let's start the machine. Obviously he hates this but I'm not doing this to torture him obviously he needs these meds. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is working just fine as expected. It is very foggy in there. Oh, 
Okay, it's now time to get him out of there. And you can probably see the fog that's coming out right now. So it really does work. It has been quite a few months since I recorded the last parts of the video. All of that was recorded in February and now it is June. Who knows when this video will go live but you know this is the time frame. And yeah I'm talking about 2019 by the way just in case. And I had to treat my cat with this box for a month and a half roughly. And he is now much better. He had a pretty terrible case of a chronic lung infection. and. Yeah, the prognosis wasn't that great, he had to spend quite a few days in the ER and I had to visit quite a few d different vets, who, all of which tried different methods of treatment, all, you know, antibiotics that I ne never even heard about and you know, lots of other stuff as well. This is the treatment that worked, so just in case your cat has a lung infection as well, I highly recommend this box, it worked perfectly and yeah. This method seems to work, at least in, in my case with my cat. So, so yeah, if your cat has a similar ish illness, I recommend you try this box. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give me a like down below. And thanks for watching.